So there's so much going on in Sebastian's case. You know, I don't really comment on it much because there has been absolutely nothing new in his case at all. But this is the official information on the TBI website. The last update was 8-26-2024. Today marks six months since Sebastian Rogers was reported missing from a Sumner County home. The, the Amber Alert remains active. TBI special agents from multiple unit continue to assist the Sumner County Sheriff's Office in the efforts to locate Sebastian. In addition to following up on leads and tips as they come in, agents continue to review and reevaluate the information gathered to date. Today, the FBI Memphis Field Office Nashville Resident Agency announced the offer of a reward for up to $50,000 for information leading to the location and return of Sebastian or to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for his disappearance. Anyone with information about his whereabouts should call Sumner County 615-451-3838 or 1-800-TBI-FIND. You can also email tips to tbi at tbi.tn.gov or contact your local FBI, nearest American embassy or consulate, or submit a tip at tips.fbi.gov. Here is his missing person poster missing since February 26th, 2024. And if you go all the way down here, the questions are on here. What has been searched? And they tell you more than 2,000 miles were searched on foot. Many of these areas were searched and searched again. Law enforcement officers have searched the neighborhood, surrounding neighborhoods, schools, many areas in the county by foot. Bloodhounds and handlers have been searching the same areas. There have been aerial searches with helicopters, drones, and a fixed wing plane. They have been conducted on multiple days, multiple nights, using thermal imaging technology. His house, the yard, the vehicles have all been searched multiple times. The neighborhood where Sebastian lives has been canvassed. Neighbors' houses have been searched. Sebastian is autistic. His family says he is drawn to water. Pools in the neighborhood were also searched. Dive teams were brought in. Bodies of water around the neighborhood and beyond were also searched, including caves. What about technology? Have you collected security videos from homes and businesses? Have all cell phones been checked? Many neighbors and businesses have provided video from home and business surveillance systems. We are grateful for their cooperation. The videos have been collected and from the beginning of the investigation have been analyzed and enhanced when possible by experts with the TBI, FBI, and Secret Service. To date, nothing gathered from these videos has been determined to be significant. We do caution that some surveillance videos being shared in public may have been misinterpreted or misidentified or not shown in its entirety. It has been determined that it does not hold any evidentiary significance to the investigation. Numerous search warrants have been executed. Cell phone data has been analyzed and any other available digital evidence has been collected, searched, and documented. Information was collected from Sebastian's gaming system. It also has been analyzed. With help from the FBI, vehicles that were placed in the area at or around the time of Sebastian's disappearance have been accounted for. These videos and all electronic devices that have been reviewed, they're also being reinvestigated. What is going on now? What is next? The search has not stopped. Every day, tips and leads are investigated. People are interviewed and re-interviewed. Evidence that was reviewed once is already being gone over again. We continue to ask everyone to keep an eye on their property to see if anything might have been moved or displaced. Is this where a child could have hidden? If you have property that has ledges or holes or something that a teenager might find interesting and you can't search it yourself, please call the tip line and we will have someone come check it out for you. If you know Sebastian or have information, what he likes, how he acts, that you think could be relevant, let us know. And finally, they thank everyone for helping the searchers while they were out there. And I do think it's important that they're looking at everything again because in the Delphi case, they did have information, for example, on Richard Allen, and it was many years before they went through all of that again and looked again. Uh, another thing, the cars that people are saying have been in the area, they've been identified. They were identified and those people were interviewed. So people are showing you videos of these lights that the Secret Service has and are looking into, the FBI, TBI, and Secret Service. I don't think anybody on YouTube has those same credentials to analyze a video in that way. In addition, I don't think they have the same credentials to make these assumptions about cars and who could have been in those cars. It's all a hook to keep you on the line, to keep you watching these bullshit videos that aren't, they're doing nothing. They're not even talking about Sebastian himself. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. And as you noticed, the reward is 50000 It's not 125000 Unless those are put in a trust or, you know, verified somehow that that's going on, I wouldn't technically believe that either. So that's it, I guess.